Y'all, I ate good this week. You wanna say good morning? Say good morning. Hello friends and welcome back to another weekly video. If you are new here, my name is Shakayla. I create and share delicious vegan recipes and inspiration. If you're returning, thank you so much for being here. I really do appreciate it. This week's video is a what in a what I eat in a week, but lunch edition. I'm cooking like some quick and easy lunch that doesn't require much work, but I'm like, okay, but it still needs to taste good. Y'all, I ate good this week. I ate so good this week. So that's what we're doing in this video. If you have not already done so, be sure to hit that subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up, and after you watch it all the way to the end, leave me a comment letting me know what you thought about it. Oh, now you wanna dance. Come on, come on. That's all I got. So if you're new here, this is the way that I make my tofu. I always use extra firm tofu. I will purchase it from the grocery store and then just throw it in the freezer. And the reason that I freeze it is because it changes the texture. So it won't be as like chewy, squishy as it typically is if you just buy it and then start using it immediately. Now, don't get me wrong, there are times where I don't have time to freeze it, like I'm just ready to eat the tofu like as soon as I get home, so I don't freeze it, but I can definitely notice a difference between when I freeze the tofu and when I just cook it straight from the pack. And then once I'm ready to cook it, I take it out the freezer, I let it thaw out, and then I drain it. I add some olive oil as well as liquid aminos to it. I toss it in cornstarch and then I air fry it. This is the way to get your tofu super, super crispy and to get your tofu to not be as like chewy and gummy that most people are used to. And if you watched last week's video, you know that this is one of the lunch meals that I had on my meal plan to eat for the week. So your girl actually stuck to what she said she wanted to eat. All right, so I went back and added some fruit to my plate, but this looks amazing. Absolutely amazing. All right, so here are the mushrooms. Just picked these up from the grocery store. And honestly, I'm probably gonna eat this entire little pack of mushrooms because I love these so much. You doing okay, buddy? What I'm about to do is just break these apart. I'm gonna cut these stems off. You can either rinse these off with water and then let them air dry. I don't have any, I don't have time to let them air dry because your girl is hungry now. Um, so honestly, what I'm just about to do is just look to see if there's any dirt on here. Now, you might wanna consult with a doctor first, but <laughs> this worked for me. Um, some people may be like a little creeped out by it, but if it's dirt, I typically just like brush the dirt off. If there's not any dirt, then I just start cooking. And so since we're air frying these, it should honestly be super quick to make. I just have like a little bit of almond milk that I'm gonna add in here, not a whole bunch. <laughs> 
have some soy sauce that I'm gonna add in here. And I would typically do this in like two separate bowls and do the dip method, like double dip method. But because I just don't feel like it, I'm just going to combine everything in here like this. It's crazy because it smells good already, but like <laughs> I haven't even done anything. All right, next I have like this garlic and herb seasoning blend that I'm just gonna add in here for some extra flavor. And then I have some flour, not adding a whole bunch. And then I have some cornmeal. Again, I'm just throwing these in the air fryer, quick and easy. If you wanna see how I do this, like if I'm not in the rush, I'll link that video. I turned these into a, a mushroom po' boy before and it was really good. I think I'm gonna add a little bit more flour. I'm using my hands for this because I'm cooking for myself and that's dead on that. I wish I had some spray oil, but I don't. So this is gonna have to work. So I'm about to add these to the air fryer right now. Fry them on about maybe like 12 minutes on 390 degrees or and so. And normally you would like, you could fully coat these in like the flour, the cornmeal, all that, but I'm not doing all that today. Yes, yes, I took a piece out of the air fryer because that's just what I do. That's just what I do. Mm-hmm. All right, so I just heated up my rice. Y'all, my nail is breaking, so your girl is about to have to change them. And I have my, have my kale. And then my mushrooms are done. Doesn't this look absolutely scrumptious? Scrumptious. Yes, 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 yes. Mmm. And this was so easy because like my rice was already done. The mushrooms took what? I think I set that timer for like 15 minutes. And the kale took like all of 30 seconds on the stove. So good. All right y'all, and so for lunch today, I'm actually having leftovers. I had made Penne pasta, looks delicious. I'm gonna have that and just add a little salad on the side. Cram dried cranberries as well. I'm gonna add a little bit of hemp seeds on top. Then I have a salad dressing that I made for dinner the other day. Just gonna add that on top. It's like a vinaigrette. And then I'm going to just sprinkle some nutritional yeast on there. Yeah, it's really good. Again, y'all are gonna see me make this if you haven't already. <laughs> I don't know when that video is going up just yet, but so I just have like plant-based ground in here. I used a chickpea pasta. I put onions, bell peppers, and carrots, as well as shallots. And so it's really, really good. All right, and so while the air, while the sweet potato, I'm gonna try this again. All right, and so while the sweet potatoes are in the air fryer, I have some vegan chicken. It's actually from the to, wait, wait, Tofurky. It's a Tofurky brand of vegan chicken. We used these with our dinner last night, but we had some extras. So I'm gonna cook this up with some barbecue sauce. Yes.
So I went ahead and added some red onion because I can't believe I didn't cook with any onion in here. But this looks absolutely delicious. Again, I have the kale, the pearl couscous, sweet potatoes, and some vegan plant-based chicken from Tofurky, which is really good. And I just cooked that up in the barbecue sauce. Uh, and I think, I, so I really like this pearl couscous because it's so easy to cook and it cooks really quick. Mm-hmm. This is also good. <sighs> Y'all, this looks, it looks so good and it tastes amazing. And it was really easy to whip together. So casual. 